Job 3831, can you bind the chains of the Pleiades? Can you loosen Orion's belt? Why am I talking about this? Well, for one, because I'm driving behind a Subaru right now. And a lot of you, why am I mentioning Subaru? If you look on the back of a Subaru, you're gonna see a little logo, it's a set of stars. Why I love that logo, why it's so interesting to me, is because that logo is the Pleiades, which is a constellation in the sky that the Bible talks about. The Bible refers to this constellation. Now, why? Why is the Bible referring to a constellation? Because I thought I was taught as a child growing up and going to Catholic school my whole life, okay? I was taught that if you learned about the stars and if you learned about the constellations and if you learned about astrology and astronomy, then you were gonna go to hell and burn in hell because that's for sorcerers and magicians and witches. And that couldn't be any further from the truth when you begin to really learn because the Bible is loaded with astrology. The whole New Testament is an astrological story and people just don't understand how to read it and what's going on. So a sign on the back of a Subaru being the Pleiades is fascinating to me because all of this stuff is just in our face constantly and we never know what it is, all right? Like another great example would be the fasci. A fasci is an ancient Roman symbol for fascism. Fascism is Marxism, Leninism, communism. It's all the same thing. Now, a lot of people, they don't really think about it like this, but the Roman Empire was a communist empire, okay? They went around the world, the Knights Templars, forcing people to comply with their religion, with their rules and regs and all of it. And they succeeded, okay? Now, when the, when the, when the ancient Roman Empire kind of dissolved, okay, it dissolved, it liquidated itself to what is called the Vatican. And now the Vatican is in control of the situation. And the Vatican is now running the world, in my opinion, of course. Now, why do I say this? Because they put symbols in our face. Now, quick story, I worked for a company years back that we shot commercials, tons of commercials, every commercial you can imagine. When you're shooting something that's gonna be aired on the television, and I don't care what it is, it doesn't make a difference what it is. If it's going to be aired on television, there isn't one thing in that shot that's not supposed to be there. Okay, I, and accidents happen, mistakes happen, but when you watch something on TV and you see it there over and over and over and over and over, every night it's there and that, they want you to see it, they want you to know it. They're not gonna tell you about it, but they want you to know it, which is why they're putting it in your face. So when I see on the Senate floor, in the House of Representatives, when they do their speaking in the House of Representatives, the Speaker of the House is speaking, and you see behind them, you see two golden fasci. It makes you really wonder what's going on. Why is America using the Roman symbol for fascism? Why do they use it? Why do they put it in our face daily, every day? Look at this, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. They want you to look at it and they want you to know what it is. Now, why do they do this? It is my belief that they do this because of the way their belief system is based on karma, a lot of karma. Now, they feel that if they can tell you what they're doing to you in one way or another, then they do that thing. It's all the cosmic, cosmic karma debt is off of their shoulders. They don't have to worry about it because... You know what? Before they burnt the village down, they told everybody they were going to burn it down and they gave them plenty of time to get out. And they didn't want to listen. They didn't want to take the, the word serious. And now the village burns down. That's their problem. That's how they look at it. So in order to prevent the, yourself from being tricked and fooled and manipulated, learn what the symbols mean. Because symbols have meaning. There's always a meaning for a symbol. They're there. And if you don't believe me, okay, perfect example of a newer age symbol, uh, an emoji is a symbol. When you send somebody an emoji, okay, if someone sends you, how's your day, and you send back a poop emoji, they get the picture, don't they? That person is then gonna say, oh damn, guy's having a shit day. 
guy's having a shit day. I wonder what happened. Then your brain starts starting, man, I wonder what happened. Is he okay? Did he get into a car accident? What's going on? Did he get yelled at by his boss? He fired? You're going to be calling me, texting me. Oh, I, what's up? Why is it shit? What's going on? That implanted things in your head. That one emoji, and it, within one second, you have thoughts just flooding your brain. That's how symbols work. The problem is we don't know what the symbols mean. So unlike the emoji, which is very self-explanatory, a lot of these symbols are not. So when you, when you look at them, you just look at them. Oh, that's pretty. That's a really pretty, gigantic, golden hatchet with a bundle of sticks with a hatchet sticking through it. That's beautiful. There are two of them. They're gigantic. And they're right behind the speaker of the house. Hmm, probably means nothing. We need to start looking at the fine details and trusting our instincts but not only trusting our instincts because if our instincts are tied to false belief systems and lies only so much you can almost trust yourself but when you learn when you read about these symbols and learn what they actually mean then you can start to begin to see things how they really are if any of this type of stuff interests you, please go to my website. I wrote two books. One's on ancient belief systems, and the newer one is on symbols. There are over 500 pages. Well, there are 500 pages in this book. It's huge, and it's every symbol. There are animals and everything, and it's all of the mainstream information, the esoteric information, all across cultures. I mean, I'm talking pages on every single symbol. Unlike other symbol books where you might get a paragraph about each, each symbol. This is pages and pages. It took me about a year to write. And um, I worked on it a lot. I pulled a lot of all-nighters. I'm, I'm still catching up right now from doing that. But Although I just started my new book too. So now I'm going to put myself back in a tired mode, I guess. But... I want to get this information out there because it's important. Uh, my new book is called um, Deception in the Modern World, and it's all about the deception. What's going on? It's all about alchemy in the modern world, how they use alchemy. The elites use alchemy to transmute our mindset and to control us. Because essentially, what's the most important thing here on this earth? In my opinion, it's love. Because when you love, when you love yourself, you can love other people and when you love that's the that's the most important emotion when you love you are kind um, you will you are helpful you know love opens doors okay hate closes it and it's unfortunate that we live in a world that um, are filled with chaos magicians that want to stir up problems and make rile people up and get get people to scream at each other and hate each other that's what it's all about that's what this world wants because if we're yelling at each other we're not able to focus and learn anything we're too busy in emotions that they created for us so when you begin to learn what's going on you can actually begin to control some of these emotions and live more focused and in the moment which is really how we should be living on this earth in the moment because let's be face it man life is short we don't know when the when the day comes that we're going to leave this earth and we should be living in the moment we should love and care for people and try and help people and try and expose lies and shine a light into the darkness of this world and that's what i am trying to do that's what i believe i'm here to do um and it's, it's really interesting, you know. I, I read, I did a prenatal chart, which is a super accurate astrological reading on your birthday. But what they do is they go into the exact time of birth and they tell you exactly where all the planets were, where everything lines up. And what's interesting is like, say, you know, oh, Saturn was in Mercury, you know, uh, Saturn was in um, Pisces and Mercury was in you know, uh, all of these, whatever they were in, Mercury's in, you know, Aries. And so they tell you where all your planets are aligned and they show you basically that your birth is almost a fingerprint in the heavens because for, in order for all of those planets and everything to line up again, exactly how they were when you were born, it's, it's ridiculous that it's, it would be so, the odds are crazy. So 
every birth is you, you your fingerprint is up in the sky as above so below you know um, and in my personal belief I believe and I you know with belief systems it's tricky because beliefs don't really matter because what you believe today is not what you are gonna believe tomorrow hopefully if you're doing actual research that's how it's gonna go if you don't study and don't do research then go ahead with your belief systems hang on to them for life it's not gonna make a difference because they're not right but if you're studying and you're learning it's hard to have a belief system because it changes so often based on information that you eventually say wow is it even worth having a belief system that's not accurate or correct so it's hard but my belief system now is that we are you know we are created from the Elohim the Elohim is means gods based on 17 dictionaries that I own in my house so when what what I might think is going on here is that we got uh, a lot of different people, possibly different creators, possibly in different parts of the realm. And I believe that this earth is far bigger than what we have been told. And maybe there are other species in other lands, which is why sometimes we get sightings of things and we see things. I think maybe at one point or another, they all live together in this realm and something happened where they had to all move and get out and go into their own places and that might be what's going on you know I know that you can't travel so far in a boat you just can't you can't fly over certain things they'll shoot your plane down um, so you know you can't go places I mean why why you used to be able to explore the world you know hundreds of years ago why can't you do it now it makes no sense because they're hiding things I mean obvious you know start to use common sense the most obvious answer is the answer nine 99% of the time so if you're not allowing somebody to go somewhere, it's because you have something there that you don't want them to see. Pretty simple to me. I mean, pretty simple explanation. People overthink things, that's the problem. Just overthink things. They force you to overthink things. You know, like for example, the, the whole motion of the earth. It's a force to make you overthink something. So you're constantly thinking. You're constantly, your brain is constantly spinning on an idea that's not real. So how can you, it's, it's the hamster wheel tactic, okay? Get someone's brain spinning about nonsense and they're just gonna be stuck in that. It, it's, you know, it's sad, but it's true, man, it's true. And they use these tactics against us. They've been using them for a long time. Who's they, the elite that control us? Who's the elite that control us? All these members of these clubs. I think what's happening is we have these clubs, the F-R-E-E, M-A-S-O-N-S, and I'm not talking about the Blue Lodgers that go down for dollar beers, okay? I'm talking about the elite members of society, the graduates of these fancy schools that get placed in powerful positions, the bankers and the NTs of this world. That's who I'm talking about, okay? They're in secret clubs. This is not a conspiracy even at this point. People are well aware, you know, they're well aware of the skull and crossbones club. They're well aware of the Bohemian Society where they go out every summer. Now this stuff, I mean, I love it. I think it's fascinating because we've been manipulated and controlled for so long. It's 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 almost impressive like how they did it and got away with it. It's really it's mind-blowing. Just the whole thing. It's unbelievable. But they did it by using religion, you know, by using dogma, religion, getting people to just think believe in nonsense and then putting that wedge in there with religion splitting that in half cutting that open so now you have a bunch of fake religious ideas then you have that like split that in half open that up to a whole nother set of lies and then just keep working it and now rather than you know this one major lie keeping people from the truth you have so many. They've just chopped it into pieces and every subcategory is a lie. So it's just never ending. So you gotta just dig through the lies. The lies, the lies, the lies. And most people don't. And most people, they'll dig through a couple and then stop because they thought they hit the bottom. But what you gotta understand is these are false bottoms. There is no end to the deception. It, there, there is no bottom. Um, I'm more curious about who are these NTs? Who are these M-A-S-O-N-S working for? What is going on? 
who were they working for? I mean, when you get coincidences, like even Neil A, Neil Armstrong, okay? You take his name, Neil A. That spells alien. Now, is that divine intervention? What's going on? Is that is that the universe just doing its thing? Or is that a man who they gave him that name? You know, and if so, if somebody gave him that name and said, you got to use this name, this is your new name now, and you're going to be this guy, and here's your, here's your actor information, and they, because these people are actors, actronauts, okay? Now, if that's the case, what I want to know is, who, who is, who is making these orders? Who is behind the scene doing all of this? Like, who is the Wizard of Oz, you know? Who, what's going on here? And how does it work? Does he have, like, a, a guy that reports to him? Like, okay, wizard, what is it that you need? Uh, you need? Okay, you need this guy. You need Frank to change his name to Neil Armstrong and then pretend to walk on the moon? Is that that's what you need? Okay, cool, done. See you tomorrow. Like, is that what's happening here? What is happening? Or is everything in this universe happening because that's what the universe wants to happen? And it's just divine? That's where I'm at with it. I'm at, I'm, I'm way beyond like, oh, yeah, maybe, well, I don't know. Maybe the earth is spent. No, I'm, I'm way beyond that. I mean, I'm, I'm way beyond it. I'm, I'm more to the point now where if you told me, you know, that there was a cave underground with Nephilim in it, I would be the first person to say like, all right, let's go. I want to see this with my own eyes. There would be a part of me that believed it, you know, because in, honestly, anything is possible at this point because in my opinion, this earth is the only thing out there, which makes it even cooler because there aren't, you can't go to Mars, okay? It's not happening. So everything that's ever happened, ever has happened here. Nowhere else, it, here, right here, which makes this place far more interesting, if you ask me, you know? So who knows what's going on? Who knows? What's Atlantis? Maybe it's over there. Maybe it's in outer space, which is space beyond. If this is Earth, this is Atlantis. Maybe it's just in another land. Who knows? I certainly know that you don't know, I don't know, and I'm pretty sure not a single person on this TikTok platform knows for sure. That's why I love when people comment, oh, you're an idiot, you're, you're, you're nuts, blah, blah. Whatever, dude. I don't really care. I don't care what you think of me either. I, I, I do research and I report on it, period. I, I, I don't... I, your judgments mean nothing to me. They don't. Especially, like, when somebody has an opinion about something and they're not intelligent. It's like, your opinion is only as good as you and in your information. And if your information is shit and you're an idiot, then what good is your opinion? It's useless. So, you know, that's, there's that, but I love you all. And I'm sorry I've ranted a bit, but it's just what I do. Um, so if you would like to, you know, follow me, I am on other platforms. You know, I'm not just on Telegram. I am on YouTube and Rumble and with the Sun 33 I'm on Instagram. You'll find me everywhere. I get censored everywhere. TikTok's the worst though. They just remove your profile and delete you in two seconds. Uh, but I love you all. With the sun33.com, all my new books. Check it out. And this is my opinion.